you really believe that 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 he does not like baseball like when it all comes down to it i, I understand that you that 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 we've all come across people who who are leverage junkies they have to seek it out if they don't have it if they have it they must exact it uh yeah, we've well, all come across right. that but let me amend yeah, let me, I'll amend it to this. I, I he does not like uh, baseball as much as he likes uh, defeating um, what he sees as the the people who are opposed to baseball's money making agenda. So then, I guess in the Which fact, I guess the in the fan. Yeah, I guess in the, I guess in the in, in the way I, you you've mentioned mirroring society a lot here. Um, in the same way that COVID nineteen has exposed the fault lines in so many parts of yep. our of our world and our country and our systems and. And families uh, feeling pressure in a way because of COVID-19, that COVID-19 is exposing the uh, commissioner of baseball uh, as a, a guardian of the game, that he is not, that he, he, yeah. that, he that there is not. Yeah, but I, I, I think this was pretty well known before he was, uh, I think, before he was commissioner. I, I can't remember the circumstances for it, but I got from him an Eddie Haskell uh, letter, and I don't mean to take uh, Kenny's name in, in vain, who uh, passed away, who, per, who portrayed Eddie Haskell. Yes. It was just a few weeks ago. Uh, but I got an Eddie Haskell-like letter from Rob Manfred some years ago about something that uh, I reported at MSNBC about labor and baseball, and I don't remember. I mean, it was a three- or four-page letter, and it, it was really, you know, it just – it just started with uh, we're all admirers of your work and your contribution to the game, and it just sort of spiraled through to so we'll be expecting your correction and please send us three videotape copies of it or whatever it was. It was just the damnedest thing I ever read, and it, and a twelve year old would see through it. And the, I I just my entire experience with him was always of this this was a uh, this was the the proverbial can't see the forest or the trees kind of guy can only see the the dollar. And yeah, I, there's nothing wrong with making money. I'm a capitalist, and I have been overpaid for years, <laughs> for decades. Are you still uh, are you I, still dead money on the Al Gore cap, Keith? Uh, well, I associate the name of Al Gore with several of the words you use there, but I would not. Uh, I uh, uh-huh. yeah, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm covered. I'm covered for this and several additional lifetimes. Okay. Thanks to, <laughs> Thanks to the fact that Mr. Gore did not really understand his business partner it was another one of these guys. Yes, it's just it's just amazing. It's like you you look at them, you go, you will go through the entirety of life not really enjoying anything that has not been connected directly to money. Yes, it's just it's it's just it's amazing. But yeah, here here we are. I mean, the 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 nightmare is. The, the bottom line of this is that there are people who think that this is right now is a good thing. And I, I mean, Ugh, I these are the same. These are the descendants of the people who, when the arbitrator sort of illegally came to them in 1976 and said, Hey, by the way, the whole reserve clause thing that you've built your millions on for the last 90 years, since the 1890 debacle, when you instituted this thing fully, by the way, I'm about to rule that that's illegal and all of your players will have the right to get uh, services, go to the highest bidder. So maybe you want to give me, I'll give you a week or two. Maybe you can cut a deal with them about this. And we're like, no, you're fired. We're suing. And they lost. And as I said on SportsCenter the other day, this is why instead of paying Hank Aaron a record $240,000 a season, they're, they're paying Mike Trout $430 million a year because they're genius businessmen, too, on top of everything else. But that's it. That, that, and the other thing is there's no particular reason to believe that the title commissioner should apply in baseball should be used in baseball because it's just um, you know owners chairman it should be chairman rather than commissioner so there used to be a connotation that there were some things that were done on the behalf of the fans or on behalf of the players or anybody else connected to the game and that was several previous commissioners did that um, happy Chandler stood up for integration when a lot of the owners didn't want it uh, there are men, many others who have done obviously lesser things this is not a commissioner, even in the sense that Adam Silver is a commissioner. And uh, you know, if you're, if you're if Manfred is there's, there's Gary Bettman also went to Cornell Law. I mean, Manfred literally is uh, is not even the best Cornell uh, commissioner in sports. I want to point that out again. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.